um, we've already solved last unit when we had um, two bases and two exponents, and then the exponents you had variables, we did by common base, correct? Then we did ones like these ones where, well, this one you could do by common base because you could get them to both be base 3. So this would be 3 squared to the x plus 1. This would go under here. Don't know why I just drew it there. 3 squared to the x plus 1 equals 3 cubed. And then you'd get 3 to the 2x plus 2 equals 3 cubed. And then you get 2x plus 2 equals 3. 2x equals 1, by moving that over, and x equal to half. Now remember, we could check these y1, y2 in our calculator and see if we're correct. We could also check them by plugging them back into the original, seeing if left side equals right side, correct? Which you're taught in younger years to always check. The other way you can solve these, especially if you can't get common base, but only one of the bases has an exponent, only one has a variable exponent, is you can convert it to a log. So if only one base has a variable exponent, and like you literally have one base on one side, one base on the other, if one, only one base has a variable exponent, convert to a log. But you can only have two bases and one with an exponent. The moment you have three bases and one with an exponent, can't do it. The moment you have, um, unless uh, three bases and one with an exponent, Maybe. The moment you have two bases and two exponents, or the moment you have three bases and two exponents, you're done. You can no longer convert it to a log. You have to do a different method, okay, which you're going to learn today. So let's convert it to a log. The base of my exponent becomes the base of my log, so log base 9. What's over here gets set beside it, and it always equals what? The exponent always equals the exponent. That's the reason why we change it to a log, because we have an exponent that we can't solve for, because it's locked up here. If it's locked up here, we can't solve for it. But if we can bring it down, then we can solve for it. Well, we can bring it down by converting it to a log, so we get x plus 1. <clears throat> now, we just need to get 1 by itself, right? So we subtract 1, and we're going to get x equals log base 9 of 27 minus 1. This minus 1 does not come off the 27. This is locked together as one log, and then when you get the answer to that, you minus 1. So what's log base 9 of 27? Log base 9 of 27. One point five. So it equals 0.5, which is the same as a half. Yeah. Now this one has two bases, one exponent. So some people say, why can't we just always common base then? Example here. You can't common base it. So what did we do all last unit? Y1, Y2, which works, except for if I add the word algebraically behind it, then that does not work. You can't Y1, Y2 and give me an answer if I ask you to prove it to me algebraically, right? So Two bases, because you can't make either of these be the same base. Like if you did 4, you can't make this be base 4. 4 to nothing gets you 12. You can't make it be base 2. 2 squared gets you 4. 2 to the what gets you 12? Nothing. Yeah. So we're going to have to change it to log. Go. Try. B. Do. So if I change this one, I'm going to get log base, the base of my exponent becomes the base of my log, so log base 4, 12 goes beside it, and it always equals the exponent. And you literally just type in your calculator, what's log 12 divided by log 4? 7, 2? 7, 9. Good enough. 
B and C, people do not often um, notice that you can convert it to a log because they're like, but lep, it's not just a base and a base equals an exponent. These are exactly like your word problems were last unit in exponential before we wrote it. This is final, this is initial. This is final, this is initial. What do I always tell you to do first? Divide that I over. Divide that I over. If you divide this over and you divide that over, instantly your issue is gone. You can now convert it to a log again. Only because both of these numbers don't have exponents, variable exponents. If they did, you couldn't do that. But because they don't, these represent just like we did those formulas before. You're going to divide that over. So we'll divide the 19.2 over. Now, some people will go 11 divided by 19.2 and put a rounded decimal and then move on. No. No, 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 no. When do you round? When are you allowed to round? When other than if you round other than this time, you should get a ticket from the math police? The answer. If you round before the answer, you should seriously get like a $500 ticket. Mm -hmm. Then owed to me. That's what should happen. I should be making money. I think this would be good. You would learn from your stakes really quickly. I bring out some Monopoly money. Make you guys pay me. Oof, I like that idea. You can get Monopoly money for like five bucks for a lot of money. It's quite a quite a win. Just need to get people to accept Monopoly money, but they don't. So someday, Walmart, five bucks. I'm endorsing it right now. Monopoly money. Don't buy it for a three and six year old. They put it everywhere in your house. You start hating Monopoly money. I'm endorsing that as well. 18-year-olds, good. Ooh, I'm going to go buy some. Okay. 11 divided by 19.2. Do not round it. <clears throat> Don't round it. I'm going to seriously buy some and then take away your money. This would be good. I like this. I like this idea. So we're going to go log. It would technically, would it be my money because I bought it first? Once I give it to you, would it be your money? I think so. Yeah? Oh, I like this. This is good. You can be 18 and get prizes. I'm not joking. This is not a joking thing. For illegal use of mathematics. I like it. Okay. I can write out tickets and then you pay. Oh, this is so much fun. Or just get the highlighter. Why would they be buying? That doesn't. Yeah, like like a Slurpee yeah. or something. If every whoever is left with money at the end of the year gets gets to go no <laughs> gets to go to Seven Eleven and get a Slurpee or something. If you have money left, even if it's a dollar, because that's as low as monopoly money goes. You can't have cents. I'm not bringing up change. Oh wait, this needs to be stopped. <laughs> okay. So base of the exponent is 0 0.91, but beside it 11 over 19.2, not rounded, as you would lose Monopoly money or LEP bucks. Ooh, I like that. Uh, so good. Okay. When you divide it out, what do you get? The non-rounded version. 5.92617. Oh my gosh, 5.92. Oh my gosh, <laughs> t equals 5.91. Oh. There we go. No, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not erasing it. If that's wrong, it's Stan. I don't even care at this point. That's like my third try. First one I put a zero, and I don't even know why. I just heard zero, and really liked it. Okay. Divide by 150. And this one's nice. You get 2 equals 1.4x. Or 2 the x. 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 Oh, it's just getting worse. Anyways, log base 1.42 equals x. Divide those bad boys out. If we didn't have the base, we'd go like this. And x equals what? I'm really going to try this again. So 
So everything we've done so far is we've done common base. We always check for common base first because that makes our life so much easier. Second, if one of them has an exponent, only one, we do change it to a log. Third, if we can't make common base, so here solve 5 to the 3x equals 3 to the 2x minus 1. If we can't uh, make common base, we have to log both sides. This takes steps in order to do. There's always a written response on my test on this. Always. And a lot of people still get it wrong. There always is. You shouldn't get it wrong. Um, but most people choose not to learn how to do it. That's the problem. So don't make that choice. Whoever gets it wrong on the test loses money. I like this money thing. This is good. Okay. So first thing we do, we cannot convert this to a log. We can't. There's two exponents. Which one would it be equal to? I don't know. That's why you can't do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to log both sides. Because as long as you do something to one side and do it to the other side, you haven't changed the equation. Okay? You've taught that since little. If you multiply one side by two and you multiply the other side by two, it stays the same. It just looks a little different, but it's actually the same. Okay, so we're going to log both sides. So we're going to go log 5 to the 3x. Now, where do I know that everyone goes wrong? Do you know how they write this? They really, really badly want the base to be the number that's there. The base of the want to be the base of the log. So they write the 5 as the base, and they get this wrong. So what I have devised to stop that madness is log both sides, but log base 10 both sides. Then you stop putting the 5 as the base. Everyone does it. That is where the common error comes in every single time. I didn't realize it until I started teaching it and seeing it happen over and over and over. So the way to fix that is take the log, if you have the notes written or in front of you, base 10 of both sides. That will stop you from trying to make that base so that it won't be your base. Okay? So log base 10 of 5 to the 3x equals log base 10 of 3 to the 2x minus 1. Honestly, if everyone remembers to take the log base 10, most people can do this question. That is the error. At 90% of the time, people put it as the base and they get it wrong, right? You're never going to come back from that mistake. Let's go base 10 it. So, what's the only thing we know we can do at this point? Possibly. Yeah, 3x to the front, 2x minus 1 to the front. Other than that, you just stare at it because you have absolutely nothing to do with it. You can't expand them. There's nothing being multiplied beside the logs. You can't, there's nothing being divided. The only thing we could possibly do is take those exponents and drop them in front by power rule. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go 3x. I always put the exponent in brackets, and you'll see why in a second. Log base 10 of 5 equals 2x minus 1 log base 10 of 3. The reason why I put them in brackets is you have to remember to distribute the exponent in. If it's a 3x, it's just going to stay that because it has only one term, right? So this will stay 3x. This is the second error spot that happens. 3x log base 10 of 5 equals, now we distribute, 2x log base 10 of 3, minus 1, you just should put the 1 in, log base 10 of 3. Ultimately, we're trying to get x equals something, correct? Whenever it says solve, whether it's in any unit that I give you this year, or any unit in grade 11, or any unit in grade 10, it means find out what the heck the variable equals. So ultimately, in the end, I need x equals something, because my variable in this one is x. If my variable is m, I need m equals something, okay? So I need to get my x's together, and everything that doesn't have x is the other side. So a lot of people try and divide this over. This is a positive 2x log 10, 3. So I'm going to subtract it over. So I'm going to get 3x log base 10 of 5 minus 2x log base 10 of 3 equals negative log base 10 of 3. Now, if they did um, the steps like this, and they asked you where they made an error, but they didn't write the little base 10s along the way, would they be wrong? No. Please don't tell me they error. Don't tell the government they errored in that step. The base 10 doesn't need to be there. The base 10 is just there, so you stop putting 
the 5 and the 3 in the base. Okay? Take an x out. These both contain an x. This is like 3 times x times log base 10. This is 2 times x times log base 10 of 3. They're all being multiplied, correct? So, a side note, ignore that for now. If I gave you 2xy minus 3xz, which is essentially what I have here. I'll make it the same as that one, sorry. I'll go 3xy, the y being log base 10 of 5, minus 2xz, z being log base 10 of 3. What could I take out of those? Nope. Just an x, right? It's the exact same thing here, except the log base 10 of 5 is the y, and the log base 10 of 3 is the z. It's the same thing. I can take an x out of there. Do you see it? It's way easier to spot it here than it is to spot it there. So take an x out. And then you're left with 3 log base 10 of 5 minus 2 log base 10 of 3 equals negative log base 10 of 3. Now our x is being what to that bracket? What, what operation? Multiplying. So I want to get that bracket of all that loggy stuff to go away. What am I going to have to do? Divide it. This is where I often drop the base 10 because it starts getting really weird looking with it. So I'm going to go log 3 log 5 minus 2 log 3. I'm going to divide by it. And I'm going to divide by 3 log 5 minus 2 log 3. So that's a good answer. x equals negative log 3 over 3 log 5 minus 2 log 3. You could punch in your calculator to get an approximate value, but you'd have to make sure to put the bottom in brackets. I always just put the top and bottom in brackets so I don't make an oopsie. This is the key thing here, guys. If you had instead moved the x is to the other side, you would have all different signs. You would have the same answer, but everything would be a different sign. So if on the diploma, the only option of an answer was positive log 3 divided by negative 3 log 5 plus 2 log 3, would you be wrong? No, because all they would have done was taken a negative 1 out of the top and the bottom. So as long as your answer is exactly the same as their answer, opposite signs, you're good. It's the same answer. If you plug them both into your calculator, you get the same decimal. Okay? Because if I took a negative out of here and a negative out of here, that would just be taking out like a plus one, technically. Okay? So as long as they're the exact same but opposite signs, you're okay. This is a good answer. However, sometimes they go a little bit further, and I want you to see this. Okay? This answer is acceptable. If it says approximate answer, that would be acceptable. Sometimes, though, they put these together. So what do they do? Paying close attention. They can go two more steps further and put this together as one nice log. And I want you to see it because sometimes that's the answer and everyone's like, but this is such a nice answer. Yes, it is, but it's not there. So what we would do is we could combine this bottom. Could we not? There's a minus sign. So we can combine them by... Yes, but we have to make sure that we bring our exponents up because we can't put them together if they have numbers in front, right? They need to have a plus or a minus one. So we would go x equals negative log 3 over log 5 cubed minus log 3 squared. Correct? So then we would get negative log 3 over log. Now, 5 to the 3, 5 cubed is 125. Bless you. 3 squared is 9. Most people are good to this point. This can actually be put together. Everyone forgets this rule backwards but everyone remembers this rule forwards. 
this is the rule. If I have log base 3 of 7, how can I put that into my calculator? Log base 7 divided by log base 3. So everyone remembers it this way, but no one remembers it this way. It is a double-headed arrow. It goes both ways. Okay? So, if I have log base 3 of 7, that equals log base 7, or log 7 over log 3, correct? Well, right now, I have negative log 3 over log 125 over 9. I can put that together as negative log, this would be my base, 125 over 9. And then this would be beside it, 3. Because technically, I could draw a line through here and put a log to the bottom. So that's how they can put it together as a single log. A lot of the time, it's like, where did they make an error? Or sometimes it's an approximation. So once you get to that spot, you can do it. If it was an approximation, you literally could go y1, y2. Right? You wouldn't even have to do all the work. So the chance I'm doing that pretty slim. So often it's going to be an answer like the first box answer or this one. Does that make sense? I'm going to get you to try one question out of your homework like the last one, and then we're going to do one that's a little bit different. Oh, come on. Page 412, number 2. Just till, and then we're going to do some harder ones. Number 2 is the basic log, and number 7, A, B, C, is like what we just did. So you're going to try these out for now. 